Today we're going to give you our second briefing on the officer involved shooting that occurred this morning. Uh, what I'm going to share with you a little bit is there is some video, so I'm going to share a little. I'm going to kind of give you a, a synopsis of video of the video account of the incident, and, and then add some uh, additional detail and identify the officer and the and the suspect involved. The involved officer is police officer Larry Moody. That's L A R R Y. Last name Moody, M-O-O-D-Y. Officer Moody has been with the police department seven years in two days. Uh, so it would be seven years in two days. Uh, he's assigned to the South Central Patrol Division. The suspect in uh, the incident is Jonathan Puckett. And I'll spell Jonathan for you. J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N Puckett. P-U-C-K-E-T-T. -T. Mr. Puckett. Is a white male, 5'16", of 1981. The incident uh, occurred today at about 12.05 a.m. Officer Moody was working off-duty for Walmart at 6185 Retail Road. That's near the intersection of Skillman and Northwest Highway. Officer Moody was in full police uniform. Video with, from within the Walmart captured the incident and is consistent with statements given by witnesses. And I'm going to give you a synopsis of the video. A loss, a loss prevention employee uh, notified Officer Moody and contact was made with Puckett as he was exiting the store. Puckett began walking uh, with Officer Moody and the loss prevention officer uh, back into the store. Uh, most of us in this room are familiar with Walmart. Uh, there's a there's a two doors uh, and, you know that brings you into a lobby area and then there's actually doors that brings you into the store. Um, there's an entrance side and there's an exit side. Uh, when the officers uh, approached Puckett, he was at the exit side and he turned and began walk walked into the store uh, with them through that uh, exit door. In the video, you see uh, then you next see Puckett running uh, out the entrance side of those series of doors, and that is when Officer Moody is able to grab his shoulder, pretty much his jacket. He's got a jacket and a backpack on. He's able to grab his shoulder, and that uh, was able to displace uh, Puckett's balance to some degree. That the Officer uh, Moody attempted to uh, to get off, um, to get Puckett into uh, custody, apprehend him. There was some resistance. Then a struggle ensued and both uh, ended up on the floor of the, of the area. When they're on the floor, uh, Puckett is on his back, uh, and he's looking up at Officer Puckett. Off, I'm sorry, uh, Officer Moody. Officer Moody is attempting to, he's got his left hand down, and he's reaching for his handcuffs uh, when Puckett cuts uh, Officer Moody on the left hand. Officer uh, Moody uh, then... Um, disengaged from Puckett. Uh, he drew his weapon while retreating and issuing verbal commands. Officer Moody then just charged his, discharged his weapon twice. Puckett was struck in the torso and in the leg. Puckett then crawled from the store and barricaded himself within, within the facade of the store armed with a knife. And so he crawled out the exit and then he just kind of bunkered himself into a I do a scene within those series of doors right there. Officer Moody maintained distance and continued to issue verbal commands while waiting for cover officers to arrive. He didn't have to wait long. Uh, his assistants arrived very, very quickly. After a brief standoff, uh, Puckett dropped the knife and surrounded, uh, surrendered uh, without further incident. Body cam and in-dash video recorded portions of the standoff. Puckett was armed with four knives. He remains hospitalized at Presbyterian Hospital. Detectives have been unable to interview him as of yet. Puckett is being charged with aggravated assault on a public servant, and he has a parole violation out of the state of Kentucky. Officer Moody has been released from Baylor Hospital. An interview with SIU detectives is pending. He has been placed on routine administrative leave per departmental policy. And then I, the last comment I have is that in the video, uh, there are store employees, and we believe that there may be uh, one or more civilian witnesses that uh, were either coming or going from the store at the time of the incident. 
unfortunately, those civilian witnesses had already left before the detectives had arrived and hadn't had an opportunity to interview them. So if anyone out there uh, has not, that has not been contacted by the Dallas Police Department witnessed this officer-involved shooting this morning, we would like to talk to you. And we uh, asked them to call our homicide SIU uh, work group at 214-671-3661. Questions? Those were the only two shots that were fired, Tristan. Do you think, uh, based off of the uh, recent uh, police involved deaths with suspects like in Missouri and in uh, New York City, a shoot to wound policy is going to become more. Yeah. I won't be able to comment on that. You know, uh, what, what we have, uh, this is our 20th incident in 2014. Uh, of those 20 incidents, 10 have been fatal. Uh, five of those incidents resulted in an injury to the suspect, which is uh, this one today, and then five of our incidents have been uh, shoot and misses, is what we call. What part of the leg did it have? You know, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Tristan, he, he does have a, a, a femur injury, and it's going to require some surgery. You know, uh, Mr. Puckett was, had purchased some items, and he did not purchase an item that had to do with a battery recharger or something of that nature. I'm not exactly sure about the, uh, the, the exact model and what it was, but it had something to do with the charge, had some sort of charging accessory. What kind of knife was it? Well, they were folding knife, uh, knives, more, but they were uh, large, uh, large uh, folding knives. Well, you know, there, there is some movement, and the officer uh, is issuing verbal commands. At this point, Tristan, we haven't had a chance to talk to uh, Officer Moody. And when we talk to him and we, we give him an opportunity to uh, share with us what uh, he was observing, and then we can also well, certainly be able to share the video with him. Because of the angles of the videos, you can see, then again, you can't see, if, if that makes sense to you. You know, the, the incident began around uh, five minutes after midnight, roughly about ten minutes uh, from the time in which uh, the shots were fired to the uh, the time in which he was taken into custody. Very brief. So, uh, Bucket, the suspect. Yes, sir. He got up. He got up after he cut the officer, right? He crawled, sir. He crawled, okay. But, but when he was shot, I mean, how was he? Was he leaving the scene or was he facing the officer? I mean, it was, it's, it's pretty simultaneous with the officer being injured when he was, he was cut. The officer retreated, drew his weapon, was issuing verbal commands. That's when the officer discharged his weapon. Following the discharge, uh, Puckett then crawled out of the, the store. He didn't have to crawl very far. We're just talking a matter of feet. So was Puckett on the ground when he shot him? Puckett was not on the ground. Puckett was standing. Standing facing him. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Did the uh, call for backup? I'm sorry. Uh, we're still working through on the communication side. I know that uh, individuals called 911 system. Uh, it, it, there, it wasn't readily apparent to us um, when we looked at the video that he communicated on his radio, but I'm not sure that, about that. Okay. Well, that's something we'll certainly determine. The body cam is one of the responding officers to the scene. Uh, it's a personal body camera. The officer shared it with us. Uh, we're still reviewing that video. We're still looking for additional video uh, on the outside of Walmart, looking back towards that barricaded person. And then we're looking for the video when, the, when Puckett and uh, Officer Moody and the loss prevention officer return back inside the store. At what point did the backup officer show up in the incident and start recording? You know, Tristan, I'm not sure time-wise. Uh, you know, he's one of those very first responders, so it's within that 10-minute uh, portion. What I'm saying is that we captured portions of the standoff outside. We didn't capture uh, with in dash camera and the body cam did not capture the entirety of that standoff outside. So I, it's just portions of it. We certainly got the arrest. How long okay. Moody work, how long has he worked at Moody? Moody, seven years and two days. That, no, at the Walmart. Oh, I don't know at the Walmart. Okay. I'm sorry. All right, guys. Thank you very, thank much. You very much, guys.